So, for her first season lighting, uh, Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall, the uh, showrunner and writer of the episode, just completely changed the whole uh, doing a Christmas episode uh, thing and went straight for a New Year's episode, which actually worked perfect. Because they did, they, you couldn't really top last year's, uh, not last year, but now 2017's Christmas episode with the uh, two doctors, uh, Twice Upon a Time. So they went for the New Year's episode and, uh, you know, uh, Resolution. It's an absolute fantastic... I can't say it's a return to form because I do like the Jodie Whittaker series, but it's more in the continuity of uh, the uh, series that started with uh, Christopher Eccleston and, and that whole, uh, you know, since they did the whole reboot. So, uh, and they do it by bringing back something that's been missing from the Jodie Whittaker series, which is the traditional villains. And we have the Daleks back, okay? It's a singular Dalek. But, you know, it was obvious who it was. If you haven't seen it, you know, it's pretty obvious who it was through the uh, trailers and everything. But uh, it is genuinely a good... I mean, I, I love Jodie Whittaker's Doctor, and I think she, her companions are all fantastic. And bringing the uh, Daleks back into the mix is, is absolutely superb. And it, it shows where they can and they should go with uh, Jodie's next season. Uh, you know, bring back the traditional villains, bring back the ones that, that people love and make her a true doctor in every sense of the word. Because it's, you know, Cybermen, Weeping Angels, The Silence, all, and the uh, secondary characters, you've got your uh, River Songs, it'd be nice to see uh, Jack, uh, Captain Jack Harkness back, you know. Uh, but uh, Resolution goes, a, is a great start to this. And the Dalek, the... Uh, it's not yeah, to say hybrid Dalek, which I know is a character, it, it would be wrong. But the actual Dalek that's in the show, when I, when I was watching it, uh, uh, all, I, all I thought was it would be great if the Doctor Who experience was still open, so you could actually see the actual Dalek itself, because it's one that deserves uh, Funko Pops and toys made out of. It's a genuinely great and unique and original take on the actual Dalek character, and the, the, you know. The actual character of the Dalek the itself was, was superb, and the storyline is superb. It was, uh, it's probably my favourite of the new episodes, uh, the Jodie Whittaker episode, should I say, of the, of the uh, series. If the episode resolution is still streaming anywhere when you're watching this, or or if it's available anywhere, watch it. It's a, it's one of Jodie Whittaker's uh, best episodes. That's not to say that, I, that the rest of her season hasn't been good. She's, it's been a superb, really, really strong season, uh, especially considering she's broken all the moulds uh, as being the first female Doctor, and the companions are different to what uh, has uh, what they've had in, since uh, Christopher Eccleston uh, first uh, portrayed the Doctor in the reboots. So, uh, that's been my review of, uh, of Resolution, a genuinely great Doctor Who episode, and the great casting, and uh, it was just a really, really good episode. I think it's a really good episode. Resolution, Doctor Who, the New Year's one. And I hope they keep doing these New Year's episodes. It, it makes a change from the Christmas ones. So see you all in another In the Geek Room review.